Hey there guys, today's video. I'm going to jump up on the roof. We need a new roof and I want to prove that our system and our calculator is just as good as getting up on the roof and measuring with the tape measure and then adding it all up, drawing out a picture. I'm going to show you all that. So I'm going to jump up on the roof right now. I'll be back in a minute. So how you, you know, actual roof come up and measure your roof? Seven and a half plus twenty three. That's one side. On the other side, see we have a valley here now. We're going to measure this valley. You measure from the eaves up. Fourteen feet. This valley comes in right here. You're gonna measure halfway up that. So if you measure like right here, the excess here would go down here to square that off. So measure the middle of it. I actually like to go a little bit above. Oops, go above. So that side is 14 by 27. That would include this valley. So we've already got this. So up this side of this valley, this side right here, halfway up, is nine feet. So that's 32 feet. Okay, so that's to this point right here. Right to here. Now we're going to measure this little piece to the point, 8 feet, and it's the same size as the other side we have over there. Okay, let's go inside. Alrighty guys, we're back inside. Um, I just went up, you know, just got down from the roof. We measured all of it. I put all this out on the, on the paper. So, so far I'm into this maybe 25 minutes into getting this measurement of finding out how big this roof is. Um, so basically I went 22 times 51 equals 11, um, 22 square feet for this side of the roof. And then I added up all the measurements we had, which is all of these numbers. So 1122 is this one, 704 is this side, and that's from um, here that way. And then this side is five squares, and then this side of the garage is 378, and this side is 378. You add all that up for 3,066 square feet, or you round it up to 31 squares, right? Okay, so let's... Go ahead and minimize that. Here's the house we just measured, okay? We did not do this portion right here. As you can see, it's a different color roof. This is an addition we put on, and we roofed it maybe two or three years ago. So we don't need to redo that, but we're going to redo the rest of this in that same color. So the way you do this, and this is done on Google Maps, Google Earth, Bing Maps, um, whatever Apple uses for maps, whatever. Um, it's got to be in satellite view, and it works best on a PC or a 
a, a Mac, not on a phone. Um, or um, it, I mean, it'll work on a phone, but it's just not as easy. Okay, so how are you going to do this? You're going to find that corner of the house. So we come up here and click on, or let's say about right there. Hit measure distance. Okay. You come down here and you're going to put a line down, because this is our line of where the new roof stops, or the starts and the old one stops. So right there, I'm going to put a dot. Come over here to this corner of the house, which looks like it's probably, there's a tree here, so I think that's a shadow. So I'm going to say it's probably about here. And then the next one's going to be probably there. And then there, basically I'm just doing all the corners. And then you come back to where you started. Boom. And that's going to give us a total area of 2683. And I think this one's a little off, so you can pull it back down to there. And that's looking okay. It's 2675 total area. 2675. What did we say this was on our map? Let's open this back up. It says we're 3066. Well, that looks like we're about 500 feet off, right? Okay, well, I'm going to explain something to you. On this, we actually went up and measured including the pitch, right? On all this. So this is the actual measurement. This is two-dimensional. Left and right, up and down, right? We're not getting any, any, any pitch in this. But as soon as we use our calculator, we can allow for the pitch. So we come in here. And we come into freeroofquote.com as our website. Right here it says online roofing calculator. Click on that bad boy. Opens up the page. Scroll down. This first part is about how to measure um, the pitch of a roof. Um, but to do this, you just got to be close. I mean, standard house roof is, you know, between 5 and 8, 12 pitch for a standard house. If it's really steep, you know, make this a 12, whatever. So anyway, you're coming to our calculator here. You're going to double click this green button. Uh, I forgot what we said this was. What did we say this was? It's 2675. So 2675. Oops. 2675. And then we're going to multiply it by 1. Okay. So 2675 times 1. Now our pitch, we're going to say it's a 612 pitch. Now, and you can see we're right here at 3156. So my outline actually added about a hundred about a hundred square um, feet compared to oops compared to our pitcher our pitcher had 3066 our calculator has oh, 3156 it had 100, 100 square feet so I have my little line here something's this maybe this is off too far because of the tree maybe this is supposed to be back a little bit anyway that's pretty that's pretty dang good though uh, so we're going to say we have a 612 pitch. Now, if this was a 12, 12 pitch, say I just bumped everything up because, you know, it's going to take, it's harder to get up to that pitch. You know, if it's down here, it's less roofing. But if it's up here, it's, it's it takes more roofing. So we're at a, um, a 312 is less. See, see how that works? Boop, boop, boop. Um, so we're, roof is about a 612. So we're at 3156, which equals out with 12% waste is 35 35 which is 35 squares um so now here on this other green box i'm i'm not putting 30 year asphalt on it. i'm going to put 50 year on it so i can click on this and go down to 50 year and there's my price twenty thousand dollars three hundred and twenty seven for a roofing company to come out and do this for me which is a tear off all new felt or um metal uh, metal valleys basically a brand new perfect roof um, new pipe vents new air vents um, pipe jacks now if i wanted to go with 30 year i could get away with fourteen thousand five hundred dollars basically if i want to put metal on it i can click on metal 25 630 so anyway that's how our system works guys um again the calculator i was on freeroofquote.com um, and then google maps google earth bing maps they all do this. It's it's really this easy. We just measured this on the computer and used the calculator in four minutes, which you could do from your office. You don't have to get up on the roof. As long as they have a view, a satellite view of the house. Well even if we didn't use satellite, let's 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 measure it. 
Um, so let's get rid of that. Let's measure it like this. Let's go here, boom. Because this is actually a pretty good print. I know we're going to have to guesstimate where this line is. I'm going to guess about there, 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 there. Oops, that's going to be off. Let's pull this back here. Well, something like that. Yeah, 2470. What did we say we had before? 25 something. So this is probably off. This, see how this is not a straight. So that would actually be. No, that's not straight. So that's. Anyway, oh, there's 2547. So this would even work like this. Um, you know, you measure my shop. I could say my shop's going to need a roof. which is 1,600 square feet. Come to my calculator, type in 16 times 1. It is a same pitch, about a 612 pitch. For me to put a metal roof on that, it's going to cost me $15,330. If I want to put 3-tab on it, or not 3-tab, but 30-year, $8,600. It's that simple, guys. That quick. Get on freeroofquote.com. You get a full profile page. It's also a, uh, um, it's a directory. So if you're a roofing company and you want to get on a directory, it's 100 bucks a year. And we put you in and you get up to seven cities um, for 100 bucks a year. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one.